Good morning and welcome to the GHS Reporter. Today is Monday, December 18th, and I'm Andre Valverde. Flying home from the holidays became a little bit more of a hassle on Sunday after a major power outage took place outside the Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport in Atlanta. According to NBC, the outage began shortly after 1 p.m. and was responsible for the delay and cancellation of about 1,400 flights by the end of the day. Several passengers were left stranded within the airport as they waited for the power to return. Atlanta radio host Brian Moot said that while everyone was trying for the most part to stay collected and felt no ill will towards the airline, that babies were getting restless, we don't have any food, nobody has eaten, and we don't even have water. Power came back on shortly before midnight last night. Despite Ethan's feelings about Jar Jar Binks, the Star Wars saga continued with a movie made up entirely of computer animation. Here's Ethan's review of The Clone Wars. We have now finished all the major live-action Star Wars films, so we are now covering other miscellaneous films. We start with The Clone Wars from 2008. This movie is completely computer-generated and takes place after Attack of the Clones but before Revenge of the Sith. The plot is mainly about The Clone Wars like the title suggests, and follows Anakin and Obi-Wan during this time. Anakin gets appointed a Padawan as they try to rescue Jabba the Hutt's son. This movie was basically the pilot episode of the series that would air on Cartoon Network with the same name. Now if you're looking for a positive review, I'm sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. This movie is bizarre. It is the only full-length, completely animated Star Wars movie. It also looks uglier than a Dianoga. The character models are rigid and not pleasant to look at. It begs the question why they chose this new technique of animation when there was already a beautiful, well-made Clone Wars series. This movie is also the first canon film that is entirely for kids, with an age, ra age range of 5 to 10. So a, lo a lot of the dialogue feels childish and stupid. I told you this victory was too easy. We never should have sent this ship back with supplies. I remember loving this when it first came out, even seeing it multiple times in theaters. But as I thought, it did not hold up. Next time, we'll be looking at both Ewok movies made for TV. See you then. And that's all for the GHS Reporter today. Remember to find today's announcements online and on Twitter at GHS Announcement. I'm Andre Valverde. Today is a C-Day. Have a great day.